Do not play with us because we'll put the window up. Look at this. This is crazy. Oh, my God. Don't do it, bro. No. No, bro. You're a good guy. Bro. You're a good guy. You don't know me. Why are you doing that, bro? You're going to encourage yourself? I've done it before. Why not do it more? Oh, my God. Here we go again. Listen, hold on. Let, let, let's listen to me. Listen to me. Friend mm -hmm. me right here. Friend me. Send me a friend request. I want to be your friend. Okay. Now, what part of the world you're in? United States. Like Brooklyn, Manhattan, like that? Yeah, like I, I'm from the Bronx. Okay. I'll be in the Bronx. I'll be in Brooklyn. I'll be a, I'm a YouTuber, content creator, podcaster, gamer. My name is on the lockout. You see it right there? O N. Space bar, T H E space lockout. Mm -hmm. Host of On the Lockout. On the Lockout is the show on YouTube. O N space T H E space lockout. Not lookout, lockout, right? Mm -hmm. And we love you, On the Lockout, bro. I know I don't know you, but as a human being, I love you. I don't want to see you hurt yourself, bro. What's going on in your life that you feel that sad and that you want to hurt yourself, my brother? You seem like a good guy. Uh, I kind of lost the thing that gave me purpose and that gave me joy. I mean, I, I lost, you know, my I lost my girl. We've been together for, not, I didn't lose her as in like she left me. I lost her in another way, you know. Um, uh, uh, we've been together for seven years. And she was, she, you know, she was perfect for me until... I guess God had to take her away from me. She died? Yeah, that's a blunt way to put it. Yeah. That's a... Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry that I had to put it that way, but I mean, we're trying to keep it real here. But we, uh, the yeah. main thing is this. I want you to understand that oftentimes as human beings, I don't know who sold us this lie, but somewhere across, somewhere along the line, we lost focus that when we die, buddy, somebody told us, that if you kill yourself, you're going to wind up with your girlfriend where she's at together again. And that is not a fact. All right. So do not hurt yourself because the bottom line is you're not going to like meet up again and be happily ever after in the afterlife. Like we want to believe that it's an awesome thing to hold on to. But reality of it is that if you hurt yourself with that knife right there, which is you're intending to do. God or whatever higher powers up there, he will not let you in any way to see her because you created a sin in order to make it to heaven. So it doesn't make sense. Like you're stabbing yourself and you're killing yourself in order for you to make it to heaven because that's where your girl is at, right? She was great. She's in heaven. So what now if you knew that she went to hell and she was the worst of persons, by all means, go ahead. Do what you got to do, buddy. Right? Because you're going to go to hell. But she's in heaven. And we know this. So the only way you're going to be accepted and be able to see her on that awesome day when it's your turn is if you leave out of this earth in the purest form. And it is the way that God bring you here. There is no other way to leave here. Unless I shoot you and I kill you, right? Mm-hmm. But you don't want nobody to shoot you because then I go to hell. And then God won't let you in anyway because he knows that you made that happen. You created that situation. So you still devilized and we all going to hell. You get it? Yeah. We got to leave this earth in the purest form that it can, man can imagine, which is the same way we came in. Innocent. So now, how long ago, how long has it been since she passed? Two weeks. Two weeks. This is fresh. Did you send me a friend request here? Yeah, I found it. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Cool. So, so now, two weeks ago, bro, that's a long time, bro. I mean, a short time, I mean. That's what I meant. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. So that's fresh. And so... You come on here and you record yourself with a knife and, and like, what was your intent? Like, you're trying to kill yourself in front of the world so people could see how much you loved her or like, what is it? 
I don't know. I just want a company. You just want a company. You're lonely now. Yeah, I want a company, someone to talk to. You think I was the right guy to talk to or no? Next. No? I mean, maybe. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, if God, God sent you for a reason, so yeah. He definitely did. I caught you with a knife in your hand, ready to stab yourself up. What are you doing? What's your name? My name is Jason. Jason. Even if it's a fake name or a real name you're giving me, it doesn't matter, right? The fact is we got a name for you, and it's Jason right now. Jason, yeah. you seem like a great dude. You lost your girl. You got your mother in your life? Yeah, she's uh, still so here. You got your father in your life? Yeah. You got brothers and sisters? Yeah, I got a brother. They all love you. You got what what they all love you and you love them, right? Yeah. So why would you try to take yourself away from people that love you? I know that you love your girl, but this is part of life. How did she die if you don't mind? Car accident. Oh my god, that's tragic. Was it based around alcohol? The other person was drunk, she was drunk. What happened? If you don't want to talk about Ace Fine, I don't want to push the limit. No, no, it's okay. Motherfucker was high. And I guess motherfucker swerved and shit. So she ended up paying the price for he. The motherfucker lived. He lived. But my girl didn't. She and ever since I've just been ever since I see people smoking weed or I've just taken my anger out on people who smoke weed or smoke cigarettes. And I just tell them to go fuck off or shit. That's how I take my emotions out. Just harassing people who smoke. Yeah, I don't think that's pretty cool either. But I mean, it seems like what's helping you. But uh, my God, bro, I'm sorry to hear that. It's tragic how we hurt other people when you do drugs or alcohol. We don't think of that. But uh, did the guy get caught? Yeah, he got caught, got arrested, but only for like a couple of years. Not enough in my mind. Uh. Like they gave him a couple of years. Okay, so now check this out. I get it, because when it's your loved one, you know, and then your girl. So what country are you guys from? It don't matter, but you Salvadorian, Ecuadorian? I'm Mexican. She's a Malaysian. you Mexican. She's Malaysian. I love you, my guy. Mm-hmm. It don't matter where Thank you're you. from. I'm, I'm, you never know who's going to help you in this world. Some people I in my on my platforms, I defend Mexicans a lot. Because people of other nationalities tell us, you guys are Mexicans. I'm like, bro, I'm Puerto Rican. But in there, where they live down south, they consider us like if we was Mexicans, right? So I'm like, it's cool, though. I say, so let me ask you something. What's wrong with being Mexican, my brother? And people are like, yo, Warpath, because that's what they call me, Warpath. They're like, yo, War, you a good dude for that. Because you don't hear much Puerto Rican saying, okay, so what if I was a Mexican, bro? What's wrong with that? I'm cool. You want to call me a Mexican? I, I'm a Mexican. Cool, I'll be Mexican. What I remember, Mexicans are hardworking people. They good people. They built America, most of America, for what I see. Because a lot of us be spending time saying, oh, we built America. Bro, buddy, I've been out here for a lot of years, and I see Mexicans building this place. I, I know what you want to believe, that the back in the days and all that, you know, and people get mad of a talk that is open for dialogue, but has a lot of... Uh, valid points and truth to it You get it? Mm-hmm. So yeah. I say all that to say that I, I'm pretty sure you come from good roots Great family And it'll be a shame to lose such a great guy Like you, Jay I understand your girl is dead But you're not gonna go with her, buddy Let's be realistic God is not let. We're not letting you in these gates It's not happening You're not coming up here to heaven With that knife You're gonna hurt people up here You're violent you can't come to heaven. And then he sends you down. Ah! And you be melting on fire in the devil's grips. You know? And then you be crying. Ah! Do you want it? Do you want that? Do you want that? No. Huh? No, no, yeah. no. Did that make you laugh, Jake? Yeah, yeah, that did. Okay. Okay. I thought, well, I'm happy now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get it? Yeah. yeah. Yo, whatever yeah. you do, man, don't start throwing nothing around. Don't break glass. 
Don't do nothing. You heard? Relax. You heard? <laughs> you're yeah, gonna, yeah. going to regret it, bro. But listen, uh, so the sound effects is cool. I'm glad that I was able to help you live, Jay. Thank you, man. Thank you. You really yeah. appreciate it, having a guy like me? Yeah, I really do. Uh, I, and of course, you know, I got her. I got her by my side. So, you know. Oh, that's what's up, La Virgen Guadalupe. See, exactly, man. That's all you need, bro. And you're a good dude. I see you there with the prayers, with the candle. I couldn't imagine losing a girl that I really love like now in 20... It happened to me when I was younger, but I was a kid. I didn't really realize it. How old are you, if you don't mind? I am 17. We've been together for for seven years, so we've met when we were... But I was 10. Yeah, I was. we were both 10. Jesus Christ. So at 17 years old, you want to take your life. You lost your girl. I understand. It's super painful. Do not. I'm never taken away from that. What do, What do you do on your spare time to pass time, Jay? I travel. I learn about different countries and cultures, language, everything. And like you said, you're Puerto Rican. Yeah, you got my way. Let's go. And the. Uh, mm -hmm. um, and of course, uh, I know a lot, so I can just be like, "Oh yeah, Puerto Rico, you're." You're a, not a country, but you're an American territory. You're a capitalist, San Juan. You're tu bandera is like is misma la Cuba. The Cuba is the same. Uh, it looks the same, but switch the colors. Um, but yeah, I that's what I do. There's countries and shit. So what? What? I mean, you ever thought about being a content creator? I it never occurred to me. I don't think no. I never thought about that. Well, look, bro, it's a great opportunity. You met a guy like me. And top of that, I do tech. I build computers. I have a tech channel. When you go to my channel, to my live stream, in the bottom, in the description, you know how to go to the description? Yeah. And the description is links to all my other channels, my gaming, my Discord server. You join my server. You know what Discord is? Yeah. yeah. I have a Discord server. You can always see me there and talk to me if you feel depressed, if there's anything I can help you with. And... It gives you a great opportunity for people to get to know you. I'm on kick.com. I'm on Twitch. I'm everywhere, right? But here's yeah. the thing. The most important thing of it all. I'm with you. And I appreciate that. That's, that's really, that means a lot to me, man. I'm glad I was able to help you, bro. On the lockout worldwide, Jason, live. It can't get any more that, better than that. Listen. Do you mind if I post this up in a video format on my channel? Yeah, sure, man. Yeah, sure. Sure, I can. Mind. I can? Yeah, you can. We need the world to see this because what you're doing right now, you just bless the world with a blessing that there's people painful and hurting out there. You're not the only one that's going through this. I know it may seem like it, but if you look it up, statistically, every second somebody's dying of a car accident behind alcohol and drugs. And your story can save other people's lives. In fact, that'll be a great lane for you to take. Look, I was only 17. My girl died of a car accident. If you want to die just like my girl did, then keep drinking and driving. You could be used for classes. You could be used for so much. The story, this story right here is amazing. But nobody sees it right now because I'm saying it and I'm pointing it out. Like a genius tactical guy, right? But the reality of it is that if you explain this story in the future at a summit or whatever, and you say, I was se seven years ago, I was depressed about to kill myself. And here pops this internet guy, a YouTuber, content creator, pop the weirdest guy in the world saying, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? And just a little care and concern, compassion saved my life. And in between that, while explaining your story, you can save the lives of millions of people worldwide with your story. It'll be a they, beautiful... They don't have to go through what I had to go through. Right, right. And it'll be a beautiful thing. And they'll know that, look, there is people out there that care. I was on a fucking app, for God's sake. And here comes this lunatic. Hey, what's up? Pressing buttons. <laughs> oh, yeah. All crazy things, lions, sound effects. 
everything going on, but it helped. It really did. Dr. Phil ain't got shit on me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Latino, Latino Dr. Phil. <laughs> yeah. I'm Dr. Phil, bro. Yo, I love you, Jason. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. I love you. I love you, too. I'll look up your channel. Yes. It's okay. You can look it up. Let me know if you find it right now. I want to make yeah. sure you're safe. Yeah. All right. Let's see. How do you spell it? Let's see. O-N, O-N space, space bar, T-H-E space bar, lockout, O. L O C K O U T. You're gonna see my big melon head there. Yep. <laughs> you see me? Yeah, I see it. Hit that notification bell so we could go live at 8 30 p.m. every day. I'm live and at 3 30. At 2 30, most of the time I'm at Twitch. 2, 2 o'clock. 3.30, I'm back on YouTube. There's always videos there every day. And I come from the bottom. I used to get high. I was in prison. I was everywhere. And here I am today helping a young brother like you. It's an awesome experience. Thanks for the opportunity. It's just so sad that it had to happen with your girl dying. But you can make a good, super good story and situation out of a bad one. Your girl's not going to want you to hurt yourself, bro. Was she that bad of a person that she would want you to stab yourself? No. Nah, so good. so then why why do it? Then why why are you even contemplating on the thought? Why is that even a a a, a thing right now? I guess uh I just wanted to see her. I always I used to just sit and cry and just be like, I'm coming, baby, and I'll just and I just be sitting there crying for hours and wake up the next day. And time passed by and you think about doing it again the next day. But here's the thing. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going to happen when you put that knife through you. Right? You ready? Mm -hmm. You're going to be hurting like a motherfucker. You're going to be in super pain. <laughs> you're going to cry. That's a definite. After that, you're going to go to the hospital. They're going to stitch you up. They're going to fix you up. And you're going to look like the biggest fool in the world because you didn't die. Right? And your mother and your father are going to go, all right, stupido, now get in the fucking house. Go to your fucking room, you fucking idiot. Don't do it again. What's wrong with you? You crazy, Jay? Ah, uh, get stupido in this way. Right? And they're going to be they're gonna be going bananas. And you're thinking is, I, I didn't do it right. But I bet you I get it right the next time. <laughs> and it's going to be crazy like a movie, right? And you're going to mm -hmm. become like a scary dude. They're not going to want you around, bro. And God doesn't accept people in his house that create damage to themselves. Your body, although you may think that your flesh belongs to you, it belongs to the Almighty Father, King of Kings. And when he's ready, he will take you up there with her. And then he'll be like, now it's time. And what a beautiful thing. The time has come. And you guys reunite. But if you reunite with stab wounds... And all types of shit that you committed on yourself, on God's property, you're going to hell. It's point blank. You're going to mess up. You're going to a different place. You still want to kill yourself, Jay? No. All right. You feel a little better, right? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. All right, bro. That's how I want you to feel better. I'm glad Thank I was you, I was able to help you feel better, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you for so much. Thank you, man. And any time that you want to talk to a lunatic like me, <laughs> let me know, bro, because I'm here for you, bro. I don't want you to hurt yourself, bro. So if you want a game and you want to pass time, I'm a gamer. I'm a streamer. I'm a content creator. I'm here for the people in real time. I've always been. I know I could be real harsh on my channels with some people, but they did something to me. Mm -hmm. If you see me going crazy, oh, snap, they did something to him. Because he's really a good dude. You get it? Yeah. But then when they do sign, I'm just going to go extra hard. <laughs> you, <laughs> you get it? Yeah. Like, they're going to be like, holy shit, I didn't know he was like that way. <laughs> yeah, now you know, bro, <laughs> relax. <laughs> so listen, you see the thing over here? You see them little toys that I got there? The red guy's helping the yellow guy, but Spider-Man is helping him up? Yeah. That's what we just did. You see, you was falling. I grabbed you and I helped you up. And that's what we about over here. So everything has a symbol and is a reason. You heard? Yeah. 
God is watching, bro. God bless you. The, the, the description is my Twitch, my Discord. I'm in my Discord every night, like 12 at night. That's when people want to kill themselves when they're alone late at night. <laughs> Listen, don't do it. Hit me up on Discord. Talk to your brothers. The family is here for you. Lockout family. Welcome to On The Lockout. Lockout family for life. I love you. I love you too, bro. Thank you. Don't let me find out you dead, bro, because you're going to go to hell. All yeah. right. Hit me up every day. I wanted you to check up on me because check. I want you to check in because you got to be alive, bro. If not, I'm going to tell the whole world, yo, that kid killed himself because I haven't heard from him. Right? And uh, you're, you're going to go to hell if you kill yourself. You got to live. You got to meet up with her. The only way to meet up with her is going to heaven. And the only way to go to heaven is dying of natural causes, not killing yourself. Right? Or not making something kill you either. That's still a sin. Yeah. All right, love you, bye. It's a crazy, awesome experience. I just saved like two or three people's lives without even really trying or wanting to or looking for it. Like, I wasn't even looking for that in my day today. Like, facts. Because I don't live my life looking for that. Who does that? Like, who lives their life looking for for somebody, I don't know. I guess I do look, if you want to say, like, looking for someone to help them in life, yeah, that's me on the lockout. But actually looking for someone that's out uh, to hurt themselves or whatever, like, nah, bro, these things, God just put these people in my place, uh, uh, in my way and all that for a super reason. And I'm glad that I was given the opportunity to help them out, bro. Let me know what you think about this and what's going on. These are not acts. These are not uh, make-believe. These are actually real people. There's a bad thing going on in the world, bro. And if we continue to always be bad and make bad and be bad actors, make bad content, bad vibes are going to come to you. So on this side on the lockout, it's always been good vibes only. You heard? It's on the lockout. Thank you for tuning in. It's been an awesome experience. Until next time. Watch I you watch really my videos YouTube. where? On YouTube and Twitch. Okay, that's what's up. It's me on the lockout. You already know, baby. I love you guys. Gang gang. Yeah. I love you. Gang man. gang. Yo, we live at 8 30 p.m. and I'm going to Twitch right now. Come follow me. I'm I'm Warpath on here. They call me Warpath. My name here is Warpath. Find me. I don't know if you can find me on I see watch every single video. Alright. Yo, I love you guys, man. God bless you. Where you guys at in the love world? You too. Where you at? In, where you at in the world? That's like the first YouTuber Indiana. I ever watched. Indiana, Indiana, in the Indiana the first building. YouTuber I ever watched. Thank you. I love you guys. Gang, gang. I love you, Grang. I love you, Indiana, in the house. Thank you. It means the world to me. I love you guys.